Hi everyone, JP here at Websites for Beginners. We are looking at the header pro elements from Bloxy and the pro version of their theme for WordPress. If you have worked with Bloxy before, you know that as a free theme, Bloxy comes probably with the best header builder in the WordPress industry at this moment. And it comes loaded with a number of elements that you can already use within that header to build it out the way you want. And of course, what you would expect naturally with a premium pro version are more header elements. And that's what we get with this one. We get a number of new elements as well as the opportunity to duplicate some of them so you can have more than one. Let's see how this looks. Here I have my header already set up at the top and to make changes to it, you go to customize. Into the customizer we go and from the sidebar on the left, simply select header. This takes you immediately into all the header functions you need and you will see here in the bottom right hand corner, the header builder opens up. Now, like I mentioned, if you've done this with free, what you see here is nothing new. And if you've never seen this before, check out the video here at Websites for Beginners, where we show you how to do blogging with Bloxy, and that will really help you to get the hang of how the header works. What we have on the left, let's look at the first new feature, and that is the ability to duplicate some of them. Of course, it's not going to make sense to duplicate all of them, but some of them. You see here over, we have this little icon that says clone item. And that makes sense. We already have a button. Why not have more than one button? Maybe sometimes you want many buttons and buttons are actually pretty useful if you want to build out a custom menu. I want to bring in another button. I simply click here on clone button. It appears here and I can drag it and drop it now. I'll put it next to this button and that brings us to two buttons. Each one of them can be styled independently, but what is nice is it takes the color scheme as default set within the theme. So you don't have to make too many other changes to it. New to the board is account. An account is a login logout feature. Let's drag it here to the right where you would normally see it. It's going to have a very small little area. You will barely see it, but that is where your avatar will display. We can select this blue little teardrop, sideways teardrop, and then you will see you have options here, whether you want to have an icon or a label. And what I really like is the action for logged in state. When you are logged in or your user is logged in, you can decide what needs to display for this person when they click on that button. For example, you have profile page, you can do dashboard page, logout or custom page. You have all that settings. And as usual, just remember to go to the tab here for design to see how you can style it out. Click back. Next contacts. Let's put it in the bottom row, which will create a new row for us under the main row. There we go. Very nicely done. Go to the settings. You can add more and that gives you all the flexibility that you need for them with your labels and the content as well as a link if you need that. This is a really nice feature and again something that you would probably pop in there in your top row to give people directions and things like working hours and your numbers. Click back. Next on the line is divider. Now, divider is not what you would think in terms of a divider like usual we have between elements and sections on a horizontal axis. This is vertical and that should make sense because remember that these different rows can actually have borders. So if you needed a divider between these rows, you simply go to the row, select the settings, go to design and here you can go to the bottom border and style it out. This divider is a divider between these elements. I have put an account element up here, but it looks a little bit squashed. So by bringing in a divider between that account and my search, I'll have a line that separates it a little bit. There you can see. You have a lot of control over it. The height is currently set to 80%. So you see there's a little bit space at the top and the bottom. But if I wanted to stretch the whole container height, I just simply increase it to 100%. Under design, you have color. I like this divider. It helps a lot if you have a lot of squash content and you want to bring in that little bit of separation. You will also notice that the divider has a duplicate 
function. So you can bring in as many dividers as you want. Scroll down, we have three more. Search box, we already have search, but with search box, we ultimately have an entire box where people can type in now directly within the header and search. Trigger is if you decide that you would rather have your menu in your header as a hamburger menu. This is what the trigger will do. Once you load this element, you will notice that the off canvas drawer area will appear here. And then it works for all intents and purposes, just like it would work if you were working with a mobile menu design. And the last one is a widget area. This allows you to bring in widgets. You can simply select it and then add the widgets from your widget list. The team at Bloxy is continuously promising new stuff and anyone who has used the theme in the last year will know that they keep their promise. With this premium version of Bloxy now, I'm very excited to see what will be rolling out in the weeks, months and years to come. Thanks for supporting this channel and remember if you're interested in Bloxy, please check out the link in the description below. From me, JP, have a great day.